Today we're going to have a quick discussion about clips versus cleats. Different cleats, different clips. What's the advantages? What's the disadvantages? What's better for indoor or outdoor? I'll share with you all my experiences with clips and cleats over 30 years and about 30,000 miles. So let's go to a top-down shot and get into all the details. I rode through a good bit of Australia and across the United States about 3,700 miles on a pair of toe clips, not cleats. Put a regular shoe in there, we were walking around a lot. It worked out great. But two weeks after I got back from my trip, I bought these guys. Granted, this is kind of an old version, but these saved my knees and probably my legs because I got hit within two miles of home by a car. Crazy. All the way across the United States, never got hit or hurt, fell down, nothing. Right next to the house, use these guys. And these are like ski bindings. And they were pretty expensive in the day. Let's see if we can get them on. So that's how they look like on the shoe. When I got hit by the car, I popped out of these. If I had my regular shoes on in here like this, I wouldn't have popped out. I would have been strapped down and the bike would have gone with me, probably twisted my legs really bad, messed up my knees. Here's a brand new pair and this is one that I've had for quite a while. You can put covers on these things, but they're kind of a pain. So you just kind of walk on them, wear them out, and then replace them with one of these. I'm a real big believer in cleats for outside road bike wear and maybe even on mountain bikes. When it comes into indoor cycling, I'm in the middle of a test. I'm comparing clip pedals to cleats on an indoor bike. More posted up there and down below when it becomes available, probably pretty soon, depending on when you watch this video. I'm going with a different variation for the inside bike. I'm using this right here. I could use this, and in fact, these shoes came with these, but the pedals, came with these. In another video, how to install these pedals and these pedals on both an indoor bike and an outdoor bike. So it's really no big effort for most people to kick out of the binding. There was a woman on my bicycle ride across the United States. She put a pair of cleats on when she started to ride and the bike mechanics that were supporting us took them off her bike because she wasn't used to popping out of them. It's just like a ski binding. It's the best way to explain it. These are 30 years old and still going strong. So if you don't know whether or not you want to get, I'm kind of mixed about it. This is what I started out with. This is what I have on my indoor bike. Get a little more of a tighter fit. This has a tendency to play a little bit, but maybe I just don't have it dialed in on this spring system right here. More to follow on that as I do my indoor bike testing. And the other great thing about these particular indoor pedals, and I'll post a link down below, there's people in my house that want to use the indoor bike that don't have the cleat shoes, so they can just strap into this one. The problem with these shoes outdoor, you're not going to be able to walk around a lot with those. And that's one of the reasons why when I went across the United States, I opted for the clip pedals. That gave me the efficiency I wanted and yet I could easily just pop out of it and do my exploring away from the bike. I'm going to take all of these guys out and they're kind of finger tight. You got the holes that you're lining up with. Try to hand tighten them down or you can use the Allen wrench and then you can make the adjustments. Tighten them all down the same amount. Now that I've had experience with both these kind of cleats, these are great for outdoors. These are great for indoors. I know people use these outdoors and vice versa, and maybe I'll do a test on that someday. So that's the comparison here and what they look like on the same shoe. You can pick this set here or this set here. There's little lines on this shoe right here and here in order to make these two shoes symmetric on where you put the clips because that's pretty important. You don't want to have one up a little too high, this one a little too low because then it will just kind of affect your ability to pedal. Put this little plate in here that this guy here has a little bit of a coning look because you're going to put the screw in like this. So you can just set it all up, the silver screws. You probably could use the black screws if you prefer those. Try to line up the holes a little bit. Once you get one in, it makes it easier to do the other. And then just align the planets on that one. You can change the angle a lot on this one, back and forth. So I'm going to make sure that these are identical. So where do I have this? Slightly over the side. I think that's just about right. A little bit of an angle. Maybe I want to straighten it up a little bit. Hold it in place as best as you can and start tightening it down. 
And then there is a little adjustment here. I haven't played with it too much. I've just kind of gone with the factory setting. So let's show you what it looks like to clip in here. That's this shoe on this side. And then if you kick out, just go. This one here, that's in there nice and tight. It's moving around a little bit, but not too much. And it, it's most important to be locked down in the vertical plane where you're cycling, like this. You want a little bit of movement on the sides. I might be able to pop that out. There we go. A little more tightened down than this here. A lot of less effort coming out of this cleat than this cleat here. Another thing to consider when going with cleats versus clips is there's all sorts of different kind of designs. This is kind of a crazy innovative design where you wind it up and tighten it up and then when you want to release it you just pop it out like that and it loosens right up. I like that. This is super strong Velcro. So in both cases you can custom fit. I look at these little wires and I think nah but they work great. My personal preference on cleats, outdoors, I like the bigger ones. I think they last a little longer and they're much easier to replace with these. These indoors, probably fine. I'll post up there a further test of these shoes and these shoes versus clips to see if there's any difference on indoor bikes. Also post it up there shortly if it's not there already. In my next video, I'll show you how you mount these cleat pedals to your bike, both road bike and indoor bike. It's pretty easy. I'll show you all the steps. Thumbs up and comments always appreciate. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in evaluations of sports gear, designs of all kinds, making and breaking things, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're gonna see.